Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial today on how to utilize the climate control features in your Tesla vehicle. So we can see here towards the bottom menu area, we have a number that's the current temperature that is set in the vehicle. To turn off climate control, all you have to do is hold your finger on this number for a few seconds and then it kind of fades out. And when that's the case, your climate control will turn off. To turn it back on, you simply tap it with your finger and then it turns back on. To adjust the temperature, we can click the arrow to the right to increase the temperature arrow to the left to decrease temperature. Now to get some additional options to open up our climate controls, we click on the temperature right here. And if you'd like to have the air vents on both sides, if you're the only person in the vehicle, you can simply tap over here and that turns on the air vents over on the passenger side. And if you'd like to split it so that the temperature on the driver's side is different from the temperature on the passenger side, we can get to this option by adjusting the temperature right here. You see there's the option to split. We click on that. And that means both the driver and passenger side can set their own temperature. So let's say I want 70 on the driver side, but 72 on the passenger side. Then because it's split, you're able to adjust the temperature independently on both sides. Now with the expanded climate options, we can move around the direction that the air is flowing with our finger just by dragging and dropping where we want it to be. I recommend having the climate control on auto. That means it's automatically gonna get the car to the temperature that you have set. And then in auto, you can have the fan speed adjusted right here, whether you want it low fan speed, medium or high. But you can turn off auto and then that goes into manual where you can manually adjust the fan speed to how you want. But most of the time, you're just gonna likely have this in auto. Now you can adjust the heating on the seats in your vehicle, you do this by clicking on the little seat icon. If you have the three red squiggly lines, that's the hottest. And then you can adjust it all the way down to being off auto for the heated seats as well. If it's cold outside, you'll get more heat in the seat. Whereas if it's hot, then it won't be on. And you can do this on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. We can go back to the rear seats and we can turn each seat independently, whether you want the heat on full or not. And again, you can do this with each seat if you want. And if you want to turn all of them off at the same time, you can click where it says all off with this button. We can have a defog or defrost of the front windshield with this little button. The blue icon means it's going to be defogging, whereas if it's red, it's going to defrost. And then of course, tapping it again to turn it off. And then we have the option to defrost the back by tapping on this, turning it red, and that will defrost the rear glass. You can turn your heated steering wheel on and off with this button, or you can set this to auto where when it's colder, it'll be on. If it's warm, it'll be off. You can turn on heated windshield wipers, and that's nice in the wintertime. If there's ice on them, it gets the ice off, or you can turn that off as well by clicking it again. You can keep the current climate temperature set. Let's say you're parking your Tesla. You can keep the climate control on by clicking this button that says keep. And if your battery reaches 20%, this will be turned off as to not waste the rest of your battery life if you're getting lower. And to turn off keep, you just click that option again. Set dog mode to where it's a certain temperature. If you leave your vehicle and have your pet left in your Tesla vehicle, it's gonna keep your car at this temperature. Camping mode here on the side. And basically what this does is the car will stay on until the battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. And I go camping in my Tesla. This is really nice because you're in and out of the car a lot on your campsite. You don't want the car constantly locking and unlocking when you're going up to it and opening the doors. It's nice to have it in that camp mode so that it just stays unlocked and it doesn't have your sentry mode on, things like that. To turn off camping mode, again, we click that button. We can turn on bioweapon defense mode. This isn't a feature currently in the Model 3, but we have this in the Model Y S and X. You turn that on and there's a very good HEPA filter in those Tesla vehicles. So if you're driving in a situation where maybe there's a lot of smoke in the air from forest fires or things such as that, this is a really nice option to have to turn that on to clean the air up for you. And we can turn that off by clicking on that button as well. And then here in the upper right hand corner, you can schedule when to have your cars turning on its climate control. Let's say, for instance, you leave your house at 830 in the morning to go to work. So you want it to start preconditioning to get it to the temperature that you want at that time. We can click on schedule and right now it's at eight. But let's say we wanted to do it at 815 and then you can click set to have a precondition at that time of day. And then this button next to the bioweapon defense mode is just recirculating the air through the vehicle. You can turn this on or off if you want or just have it on auto and it will do what's best for your situation just with that auto option. So that's the main stuff in the climate controls. There is a lot to learn. One of the main things, especially if you have two people in the front, learning that you can split the temperature between the two sides, 
by adjusting the temperature this brings up this option here whether you want the temperature to be the same on both sides or you can split to adjust independently that's a really great feature to have and that'll wrap this one up so i appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the youtube channel and i'll see you back here next time